hello let us uh, uh, talk on how the altitude is going to affect uh, uh, the electronics circuits uh, so for this example we will consider a simple dc dc converter and see uh, from its data sheet how <coughs> uh, the d rating has been considered so uh, um, the one you see in the <coughs> image here uh, basically is from uh, uh, monson dc dc converter from monson uh, which has provided a uh, d rating curve for its output power based on the altitude so if you see here uh, for an altitude of uh, 2000 meters it says uh, you can use the dc dc converter up to 100 percent of its uh, capability output power capability whereas beyond 2000 uh, there is a d rating uh, provided so <clears throat> it can go as long uh, as low as uh, um, <clears throat> operating up to 20 percent below the um, actual power that means uh, you can use only up to 80 percent of the actual output power at 5000 meters mm, so <clears throat> what uh, this means is that uh, basically as the electronics particularly this dc dc converter talking about uh, this as an example uh, or in general any <coughs> electronic systems uh, um, as we go into higher altitudes uh, uh, the operation of it is going to get affected so that means uh, uh, example if you take any space application aerospace application or any other application uh, RF related application which uh, operates at a higher altitude um, there should be special considerations that need to be taken so now the point is how altitude plays uh, a role um, and what considerations we have to take <coughs> to overcome this so that this particular slide you see here there are two parameters basically on the PCB uh, that we make um, one is called the creepage and second one is called the clearance so these two are the critical parameters uh, uh, from which we can explain uh, why altitude is is going to play a role so the images you see here uh, we, we got from uh, uh, several references <coughs> on it uh, so these images explain what is the creep page and what is clearance so if you see the first image here clearance is nothing but the distance between uh, the components um, in the image basically components um, with respect to <coughs> the air so the distance uh, uh, in air between the two components which is called the clearance whereas the distance along the surface uh, is called the creepage so if you see the first example clearance is in the air whereas creepage if you consider along the surface it's the same creepage and clearance is the same now in the second image let us assume there is a small groove as mentioned in this image <coughs> here the clearance is uh, similar to the above one in the air whereas uh, groove is along the, uh, the the creepage is along the surface that means it takes the path this way and then um, till this uh, uh, component so that means uh, in this uh, uh, creepage is longer as it is uh, taken along the surface so this is one simple example here we have considered a component now Consider uh, a PCB surface where you have um, surface mounting pads or traces on your PCB. Uh, so, <clears throat> if uh, the traces are this way, uh, which are on the left here, um, the creepage and clearance is the same as we mentioned here. Whereas, <coughs> if you see the right side image, uh, the clearance between the pad, there is a cutout in the PCB here. Um, so, if you take the creepage between these pads uh, we have to take the creepage uh, between pads uh, along the surface right so the creepage distance will will be uh, the length that we are tracing here that means the red arrows that are specified here whereas mm, clearance is direct path between uh, these two in the air <coughs> even though there is a cutout uh, this is the clearance path so we will come back to this image here 
this is another uh, example which shows uh, um, uh, this uh, we, we will go to this third one directly um, so these are two pads and then if you see the creepage it follows the red line that is shown here um, whereas clearance is directly between uh, these two pads over the air so hope we are clear about uh, creepage and clearance so <clears throat> one thing is clear that uh, uh, most probably uh, clearance would be lesser creepage could be uh, uh, always greater than or equal to clearance as per our understanding here now let us come back to this uh, uh, scenario and we will talk about uh, what are the effects that are caused by this creepage and clearance so that at higher altitudes uh, we see issues now this is the scenario so if you see here this particular topic which we were talking uh, so the creepage actually um, is uh, along this red line and uh, uh, clearance is between the pads is what we have talked so when we say um, this clearance uh, we see that air is the dielectric for these pads so uh, the air doesn't allow the conduction to happen electrical conduction conduction to happen because it acts as an insulator mm, so <clears throat> uh, there is no need of any additional insulation um, the air itself acts as an insulation here now what happens is as the uh, boats these electrical boards are taken uh, to a higher altitude uh, the insulating property of this air uh, gets lesser that means the air becomes a poor insulator and as it, it becomes a poor insulator there is every chance that uh, over um, the conduction can happen directly between these two pads over this air gap which we call it arcing or a breakdown condition which is <clears throat> a common uh, um, a failure scenario seen across embedded boards even on the uh, when they are operated on the land itself normal uh, <clears throat> altitude conditions uh, so while that is a different discussion here we are talking about the altitudes so <clears throat> when we talk about this uh, spacing um, and the arcing that is going to occur at higher altitudes so it is important that when we are designing these electronics these electron the spacing between these copper traces we are talking here or <coughs> copper basically pads we are talking here or traces that are used on the pcb there should be sufficient spacing between them such that uh, there will not be any arcing or breakdown that occurs even at higher altitudes so now we are getting to some understanding and conclusion that on the when it is operated at a lower altitude the spacing could be lesser whereas as we take these boards to higher altitudes uh, the spacing has to be more so when we are designing these boards we have to design them such a way that these boards can operate at higher altitudes as well so that is why in the first slide when you have seen uh, the dc dc converter they have designed uh, <coughs> um, uh, such that it operates uh, up to 100% uh, to specific altitude and then when you go beyond that altitude you have to reduce the uh, power at which um, uh, it will be operated the output power basically so <coughs> because uh, we are talking about power here because uh, the more the power there is uh, uh, every chance that arcing or a breakdown can happen so we have to operate at lower output powers so this i hope we are clear on this and then uh, the other scenario uh, what happens is we are just talking about a breakdown scenario um, uh, where we have to maintain spacing between these traces and pads now there is one more scenario what happens is as these boards are taken to higher altitudes <coughs> the air is less denser compared to uh, the ones which we are using at a lower altitude which is understood so as we go to higher altitudes what happens is uh, the conductivity becomes lesser so conductivity we mean here by, from electronics uh, boards perspective with respect to air this is more of thermal consideration that means as we take these boards higher 
the conductivity the heat conduction gets lesser so a board which is operated at a specific power at lower altitudes might not work thermally at higher altitudes so there should be additional thermal consideration that need to be taken uh, which could be like <coughs> adding a heat sink uh, or any um, uh, reducing the density or adding more copper on the pcb so whatever the considerations that we take with respect to thermal need to be considered so two scenarios we are talking here one is thermal and the other one is arcing or breakdown that could occur at higher altitudes so when we are designing boards especially the guys who work on aerospace <coughs> and then space applications uh, need to consider this um, and uh, uh, design their boards in such a way uh, that these arcing or breakdown doesn't occur so there are specific standards which are there um, which define <coughs> the kind of spacing that need to be uh, maintained in these scenarios hope we are clear and uh, we gave you a little glimpse of what creepage and clearance and how it is going to affect uh, higher altitudes um, please let us know if you have any questions please uh, comment uh, your suggestions please give a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to our channel thank you